Welcome to my off-grid property. I wanted to thank you guys for the wonderful response that I got to the A-Frame Cabin Tour video that I posted a few weeks ago that took you on a tour of our little A-Frame that we built. I just got an amazing response to that. Lots of people watched that video and left some wonderful compliments and lots of comments. One of the comments that I got a few different times was asking where we shower. We have a small bathroom in the A-frame cabin, uh, but there is no shower or bath. And so I wanted to show you guys our shower before we get completely snowed in up here. The snow started flying last week and it's uh, getting deeper uh, by the day. And before we get snowed in and button up the cabin for winter time, I wanted to show you guys our shower setup. Out here in the woods, I like to live simple, but I also like to live comfortable. And this is the easiest solution I've found for a good hot shower with running water off grid. This is the outdoor shower that I built. This enclosure is made out of aluminum storefront. I uh, do glass for a living. And this is scraps that I had left over and some panels that I had left over. And I built it out of it because I had it. Uh, but I see a lot of people that make these out of wood and metal roofing, and that works just fine too. You just want something that offers yourself a little bit of privacy while you shower. I took the curtain down. You can see the rod goes across there um, so that you guys could see inside a little bit better. Um, we got hooks for hanging the towels on and a little shelf for the soaps and shampoos. And then this flooring in here is actually made with all the scraps from our Trex decking um, that we use to deck the, uh, the cabin. And so we try to save and use everything that we can. So I pieced all these together like tile and uh, it's a nice comfortable surface to stand on that's waterproof as well and built it on top of a pressure treated pallet and stained it all to match so it looks nice too. This is the heart of our little outdoor shower system. This is a 27 gallon tote that I picked up from Home Depot and that acts as our water reservoir. We can get several showers out of that and we just refill that with water from our well. And then on top of here is the instant hot water heater that we have. This one is made by a company called Bouge RV and honestly it's the simplest hot water heater that I've ever came across. It uh, is an all-in-one unit. It's got a battery that's built in, runs off of propane, and uh, comes with the pump and everything, and is portable, easy to use, and just simple. I looked at the uh, other instant hot water heaters that you can get on Amazon from companies like Gasland and, and Camp Lux, and all those uh, get great reviews, and I'm sure they're awesome. They require additional components. You have to have a pump because you need water pressure. And then you have to have a way of power in that pump. And then you have to weigh, have a way of charging that power that powers the pump. And then a lot of times those are fixed mounted. So you can't just uh, take them anywhere. I love that I can take this one uh, camping as well as uh, overlanding. Or uh, you can use it as a pet wash. Um, you can definitely use it for more than just a fixed mount hot water heater, uh, but it does the same job. It really does a great job heating the uh, water and uh, kicking it out there. Here's a closer look on how I have it all set up. Under this wood cover here is an access hole that I use to refill the reservoir with water from our well. Down in the bottom there, you can see the uh, water pump that comes with the water heater. And I just keep this cover on there so that it keeps the bugs and gunk out. This water heater runs off of the small propane tanks as well as you can use the adapter and adapt it to the larger propane tanks. This thing is super easy to set up and operate. It comes with the color-coded quick connects, spot to plug in the pump. Once you're all set up, it's as simple as turning on the on button and turning on the pump and taking a hot shower. One of the other things I love about this little Bouge RV hot water heater is this shower head. You can control the flow with just this button right here. So if you're in an area like we are where you got to conserve water, um, you can do that easily with just the push of a button. It also has three different settings, outside, inside, and both. So you can control that flow as well. The inside one has a little bit more power for if you're washing dishes or whatnot. Uh, it gives you a little more of a jet flow um, than the outside does. And so you can adjust that for water flow as well. 
It'll fit into any of the little shower head adapter holders that you can pick up on Amazon. I'll leave a link to this one down in the description below. Uh, but it really is just an awesome, simple little setup. I think an all-in-one hot water heater is about as simple as it gets. And it's really been a game changer for, for us out here in the woods. If you'd like more information on that unit, I'll leave a link down in the description below. You can check out the specs and see if it's something that'll work for you. Uh, but it's really worked for us well. And it's nice to have a hot shower at the end of the day, get cleaned up, and just makes life out here a lot more comfortable. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see other videos like this and uh, other off-grid projects and adventures that I got going on, please subscribe and thank you for watching.